Have you ever wondered how much air pollution you're breathing? You can find out by checking air quality websites that show data from expensive high quality monitors and that fill in some of the gaps with data from many low cost sensors. But what if there aren't enough sensors where you need them? How can you build your own network of air quality sensors? You can learn how to monitor air pollution from the guidebook, Community in Action. The first step is to identify the problem that you want to solve. Look around your community for sources of air pollution and the people it might be harming. Air pollution comes from a variety of sources, not only power plants and factories, but also cars, trucks, construction sites, wildfires, even fireplaces and gas-powered lawn equipment. You can also use online tools to see if your area is known to be polluted. Once you know your goals and the sources that concern you, the guidebook can help you figure out what pollutants to measure, how many and what type of sensors you need, and where you should place them. As explained in the guidebook, place sensors evenly to measure air quality across the community. To understand the air pollution impacts from a specific source, place sensors at varying distances upwind and downwind from the source. Some sensors must be plugged into a wall outlet or be near a Wi-Fi router. Other sensors have their own solar power and cellular connection. If the sensors you need don't fit your budget, you may need to adjust your plan. When your plan is complete, it's time to order and install your sensors. You might have community members host sensors at their homes, or you might ask a business to host a sensor. Be sure to install the sensors where there is good airflow and away from other sources of pollution. Throughout the project, keep an eye on the data to look for anything interesting, and check on the sensors if they have strange readings. Remember, understanding what's in the air is the first step to improving it. Learn more by downloading the free guidebook today.